Hi guys, so we're back again with another review, which this time is the OBS Energy. Now I got this free um, from OBS at Expo earlier on this year. So we'll have a little looky. First of all, we'll have a little look around the box, nicely packaged as usual. With all these things, engine on that side, OBS on that side, we've got a little um, QR code there, and whatever that says there, that's their website. And then on the back, we've got a authenticity thing and some bump about it. Uh, it's a 5.2 mil tank. Uh, basically, in the box, you get an accessory bag, you get a spare glass, and you get an it, and you get the engine itself, uh, the engine tank itself. They come in black and stainless. This one is the stainless one. As you can see over there, I've got a little picture of the black one as well. That one quite like quite, quite snazzy as well. So we'll have a look in the box. There we go. Spare glass tank tank itself. A little screwdriver. Well, it's a it's an Allen key one. And then underneath that, we can take we'll take the tank out, take all this out, and see what we have got underneath in the bottom of the box. Little user manual. And get the damn thing out. Might need to use something to get that one. Little screwdriver and get that out. It's well in there. Well in there. Quite a nice little booklet. Um, got a nice clear, very nice glossy. Shows you how to wick it and everything, which is very nice. Nice pictures on it as well. Very interesting. This is a bottom uh, coil, but top airflow. So let's get rid of that. Let's have a look what we got in here. What we got in the bottom of here? We have got in here some baggies, some genuine jam pan cotton there, and we've got some twisted coils, some spare uh, Allen screws, and a load of O-rings. Crikey, there's some O-rings in there. It's nice to see they give you a full spare packet, spares package with it. I thought we'd start down up close, and then we can. Have a look at up once we've whipped it up and what have you, and filled it with juice. We shall have a look at it. We'll put all this away. We don't need that. I've already I've already coiled it, ready to go. I've got some uh, three mil twenty four gauge council coils in here, so we'll get the coil master. Shall have a little, oh, just, oh, we'll take the tank apart first and have a little bit of a look at it. Let's just adjust the brightness a bit on that so we can see what we're doing. A little bit more exposure on there maybe. Get the thing to move, move you. Yeah, that's a bit better. You can see a bit better. Right, so there's the tank itself. It's got a little uh, plastic um, drip tip on the top, which is standard 510 fitting. You can get the damn thing out because all the O rings are dry. One out the damn thing. There we go. Standard 510 fitting. A little look around the tank. Okay, got OBS written on there. Nice. It's very well made. Very, very, very beautifully made. Got um, what we've we got on the bottom designed by OBS engine and there's this OBS 610 on the bottom. So the tank comes apart like that. There's the deck out, as you can see, we've got a little build in there, buildy buildy in there, buildy juggly. And then there's the tank itself. And it all comes apart. Unscrew it. That piece that piece is fitted on there, that stays on there. We've also got um, the, the tank section comes off like so. Put that back together. Yeah. Okay. Put that back together. That screws in like that. Lovely job. Yeah. Now on the side there, I don't know if you can see it very well, but there's a little tiny dot there because when you pull that up, that's where your juice goes in. Quite a neat little bit of kit. So let's get this on here. Let's get some wicking in it. Get some cotton in it. screw the damn thing on. Get on there you git. Come on. There we go. 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 I need to get a little tripod at some point so I can put my camera a little bit closer so you guys can see a bit better. Actually, should we try and do that now? Let's see if we can get a better uh, view on there for you. If I may. Let's see if we can get a better view. Two seconds, I shall be back. There we go, we're back. You can see a better better view of the deck. It's just a simple um, velocity style two post deck. Um, see these holes here, that's where your cotton goes. So without further ado, we'll get some cotton on the go. And we'll have a little uh, wick it up and what have you. This reading at 0.520 ohms at the minute. 
Now this you do need to minimal wick it, get your coils nice and fluffy as you normally would. Let's get some cotton out. Should have got some out already. There we go, some cotton there. Split that in half. Split it in half again. Down the middle it should be spot on. Hunky dory. Right, there we go. Nice bit of cotton on the go. You want, remember you want it nice and firm in there. Not too much, but not too little. And it's literally a case of usual, usual, usual thing. Get some cotton through there, get it nice and uh, firm through there. Now, with this, I found the best way to do it is minimal cotton. So, squeeze the end a little bit, get it squidgy so I can get it through the coil. And here we go. Not quite squidgy enough. Why has it gone like that now? Is it an auto? It's gone extremely bright again for some reason. Let's knock that down a little. There we go, I can see a bit better. Still getting used to this new camera. Still getting used to it. But it means I can get close ups a bit better. There we go. Light and fluffy, light and fluffy. Just a little bit of movement. There we go. Right, now comes the fun bit. Let's cut it. And. Okay. That's it. Yeah, only, what I would do is do your stuffing first. Now, what I've been doing with this is you've got to get it right in that that funny corner there. So we'll take our little uh, special tweezers, and you just want to get the right amount of cotton. Sometimes I wouldn't don't twist it too much, but just get it in the get it in the hole. Don't overstuff it because obviously when your juice goes on, what's going to happen is let's turn the brightness down a bit. Not down. It seems to have gone extremely bright. Turn the brightness down a bit so it's, sort of, it's blaring out in the old cotton, isn't it? Keeping weight. Get that cotton in your rolls nicely, nicely. And you just want it just to sit in there. You don't want it to sort of like ram in the bottom. You just want it to sit in there nicely, nicely like that. And we'll do the same with the other side. Give that a little cut there. Just want it poking through the holes because if you put too far through, it's going to um, sort of like sit in that. You want it to sit in so it's just sit under the hole because the juice fills the whole of this area here and all the way around here because obviously that's the, there's a gap under here. Um, so we've just got to get that cotton just to sit in the right spot. It is a bit of a fiddle, but once you get it right, it's. It's right. It took me about two or three attempts to get the cotton right, cotton wicking right on this sucker. But like I say, once you get it right, see as you can see on that side, look, see, it's just sat in the holes, tidy it up a bit, get it in there, get it poked in there. Because obviously, you know, if it's a little bit loose, it doesn't matter that much. You want it snug in there, but you don't want it too tight. Um, if you get it too snug in there, it's not going to wick properly. And you're just going to end up with a thing. Because obviously if you put too tight in there, as soon as the juice comes out, it's just going to choke it to death. Pull that back a little bit. Get that cotton in there. Oh, these, these, these tweezers are great for doing this. There's the angle on them. So what, I've done, what I'll do is I'll stuff it in all the way through the hole. And then I'll pull it back a little bit. Because when you pull it back, it's push it in and pull it back a bit. And it'll fluff it up a bit then. And then that'll that'll just wick nicely in there. You don't want too much sticking out the bottom, like I say. Snip that there. Snip that there. Snip that there. And what we do is we just again, yet again, just get that in there. Nicely, nicely in the old. This it's always the last one that's a git. You get it all nice and neat on the others, and then the last one just doesn't go to plan. <laughs> In and out with it, in and out with it. Just tease it, tease it, tease it. Get it in there. There we go. Pull it out again. Fluffed up. Lovely jiggly. Lovely jiggly. Get the excess fluff out of the way. Otherwise it will choke the cotton when you put the lid on. There you go. And that's all ready to go. The coils are clean. It's just they look dirty on this camera. So we'll wick it up. We're going to put some of this stuff in it.
just Joe's squeeze 70 30 juice this is zero milligram I've tried various different juices now what you can do is you can do the usual wicking method and do this with it now, I like to just gently fire it a little bit just to warm the coils up because as you warm the coils up it'll take the juice in see it just goes boom boom because you're cooling it with the juice the juice is cool anyway so it cools it down Nice orange flavour juice this is. Just get your cut get your wicks nice and moist. Get them. nobody likes a dry colour. Nobody likes going in dry for where this is. Oh, I don't go in dry. Never want to go in dry. Get them nice and wet. And the bottoms of the coils should start just be um, just should just start going nicely nicely, yeah. Should now whip through the bottom which I suspect it will do that's another way you can check is as you juice up this you'll see the wicks in the bottom getting wet the little bit that you've got sticking out you can also put a little bit of juice around the bottom but you've got just to help with the wicking process that's what I found is the best way to do it other people may have a different way of doing it so now what we can do now we've got that all wicked up and what have you ready to go as you can do just give it a quick test fire Five, four, three, two, one. See how we're getting the juice. There we go. Starting to come. Starting to come. Starting to come. And what I like to do is get it sort of to the point where the coils are almost dry, because that way, when you fill the top, it wick it up, and you won't get any problems then. So let's get this in here. Now, what you have to do is you have to turn it. You can see very well. You have to turn it to lap middle bit locks you see it's got these two pegs two pegs on there look those pegs have to line up either side of the coil the coil head even you'll turn it and then you'll find the right spot when you've got it in the right spot it'll just be you'll just get it right there we go and it's on closed let's take that off there a little bit of juice liquid flow there from when we fanning about with it wipe that off get that moisture off there it is very nice looking it's quite a nice looking tank I quite like it so we'll pop this off and we'll open it up as you can see there a little tizzle there and you just fill it up with juice and away you go nice big area to fill with juice um, fill it up with juice 5.2 mil it takes Juice, fill the juice. I won't fill it to the top. There we go. Put the drip tip on. Get the drip tip on there like that. And there we go. Airflow is wide open. What we'll do is we'll close the airflow off and give it a couple of pulls to prime it up. We've got air bubbles. Yes, we have. There we go. OBS engine. So we'll go back, we'll go up top, we'll stick it on a mug and we'll have a vape on it. See you in so a second. So we're back up top with the OBS. I'll give you a bit more spec on it. It's 54.5 mil high. Um, why is it gone off focus? Stupid thing. Stupid thing. Yeah, it's 54 mil high by 25 mil in diameter. And it's quite a nice looking thing. It's very interesting. So we've got it on the RX 200S. Um, it's at 30 watts and it's 0.52 ohm color. Wide open airflow. Flavors outstanding. Plenty of airflow. Slightly, as you can hear, quite an airy vape. Um, we'll turn it down a little bit. That half airflow is like a restricted lung hit. Um, wide open, it is full on airflow. There's no adjustable um, juice flow, it's just wide open all the time on the juice fly. But you have got some adjustment on the actual airflow itself. 
for the airflow. Plenty of flavour. Wicks really well. Easy build deck. I can't really fault it really. Um, screws have been holding it. Chucks like a good one. I mean, I'm only running it at 30 watts. No dry hits. Wicks lovely. Juice lovely. It's it's just a nice little tank. They're around twenty between twenty and twenty five quid, depending where you go. But as usual, the links will be down below. And I'd just like to say big thanks to OBS for sending this on for review. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Ta-da for now.